hello once again. I know it's a little noisy, but these are this is the way you have to do measurements on electronics with the engine running. Intake air temperature, we know that senses the temperature of the air coming into the air in the, in the chamber over here. So we're looking for the black wire, ground, tin wire, view 5 plus. But we have it connected, so you're not going to see 5 volts. Right? So let's go see what I have. First of all, like I said, in this type, there's no place to back probe it. See how tight they are? There's no gap or space in between the wires. Look at this one. This one, there is space. This one, there is no space. So again, I had to do the same technique. Took out the, the plug, the connector, put the wires to the terminals inside, and pushed it down, making contact to the sensor inside. Right? Works the same. Now, temperature, as the temperature gets higher, the voltage should go down because the resistance goes down. I have two, I have a meter over here, it reads 1.17 volts at the tan line, at the, at, the, at the line going back to the computer to give it information. I have a scope set up over here. As you can see, it's now it's on DC. See the DC? 0.5 volts each division. Look at the green one over here, if you can see it. Look at this arrow, that's where ground is. It went up a little more than two boxes. Tell you volts maximum. Look at this one, 1.15 volts, right? How much do we read on the meter? 1.16 volts. How close is that, tell me? 1.15, 1.16, how close is that? That's a scope right there, right? You see the, it's going up, it went up, a deflection went up in DC. DC means, even though it says a frequency, still it's going up and it's staying up. That's a DC. AC means it's varying up and down. And that's what's happening. Let's try it. It's waiting for a trigger, and when it gets it, see, up and down, and it freezes at that point. So around 1.1 volt, something like that. Okay, let's see when we let air in this will change. You can see it. No change, right? I open throttle, no change. Because the temperature of the air is the same. It doesn't change. The mass airflow sensor has grams per second. You're going by weight of air. So therefore, the more air coming in, the more the mass airflow sensor will change. This will only change when the temperature changes, and you saw that. So when we measure 1.15, that's what we measure. If it gets colder, the voltage will go up. If it gets warmer, the resistance goes down, and we expect the, temp the voltage to go down. It has a negative coefficient. That means resistance goes down. Anyway, again with the mass airflow sensor, go to the scanner and you see grams per second. Then you know if grams per second should be between 2 to 7 grams per second in idle, I have the correct waveform, then I'm pretty happy. But this was a little lean. This was a little high. It was a little high. The voltage was a little lean. And so we don't have a check engine light. So you know what? It has plenty of power. To over 200,000 miles. Customers happy. Not really complaining about that. Plenty of power for that type of engine. So you know what? GM, Vortec, we're happy. So anyway, this gives you at least a list an idea. Please see my channel, please. I need hours and minutes. Joe Electronic Schematic for Auto. Please watch more videos. Thank you.